What we have here is a project that I've put together. It's uh, basically in three parts. You've got the uh, this board here is uh, a combination of a kind of experimenter's board. Uh, it's got the microchip on it. It's got a programmer uh, power supply. Um, it's also got some outputs and things that you can use that are pre-built on there. Uh, that's the first part. In the middle part, you've got an experimenter's board that I've used to hold a 555 timer, uh, motor driver, and also a way to integrate the LCD display. Uh, lastly, the third part is a uh, pump and a tray full of water and a cup and a sensor for the, uh, the level of the, uh, of the water in the cup. So let me go into a little more detail about what we're seeing here uh, with the motor. Uh, sitting in the uh, the tub of water here, then you've got a uh, uh, just a sensor which is simply two screws, and I've got some reference marks in there, and you can kind of hear the water uh, pumping the water into the cup as it raises up in there. Uh, our 555 timer is uh, sensing the level, so I'll wait here, and you can see it goes to a certain level up. And then as the water flows back out of the cup, back through the pump, it will sense a lower level and reactivate the pump. We'll wait for that. There you go. Uh, to drive the pump here, we've got a little circuit right down in here uh, that's simply uh, taking the, uh, the signal from our pick, which obviously can't drive the motor, and providing a power supply to drive the, uh, the pump with. Uh, on the display, you can see the change. Uh, as the water level is falling down, the, the count number is going down. That count is representing the level uh, of the water. And now you can see it going back up and also an indication of pump on and pump off. Uh, so in my application that I've written, not only am I sensing uh, water level, but I'm also driving a, uh, a display and all of this code was, was written by me uh, and done in a modular way so that I can reuse the code that uh, runs the display uh, or the pump also uh, here, <laughs> buried in the buried in the wires, is our uh, little 555 uh, timer. And basically, what's happening is uh, 555 timer will create a number of pulses based on a fixed capacitor here and a variable resistance, which is the level of our water. Uh, so there was also uh, code written to count those number of pulses and come up with this number here representing the uh, the water level. So as the resistance of the water changes, then uh, I'm allowed to uh, find out you know uh, how the counts change and, and get an idea of our water level that's turning on the pump on and off. Um, and again, here is our our pick. I've pretty much uh, exclusively used uh, pick microcontrollers, although I have done some parallax uh, and getting into AVR programming as well. So, and that's about it. Show you one more cycle here. Our water is going down. Now it's coming back up. and then going back down again. And that's about it.